Hi guys, welcome to the twenty-third. Welcome to the twenty-third exercise of Autodesk Fusion three hundred and sixty beginners tutorial. In this exercise, I am going to be showing you how to design this figure using Autodesk Fusion three hundred and sixty in simple steps. Here are the dimensions of the figure and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification. so that you won't miss any of our new videos now without wasting time let's get into it first create a new design by going to file select new design the unit we're going to use in this tutorial is millimeter create a new sketch on the front plane Go to center dia circle, select the center as the origin, and give it a dia of forty-five millimeter. Draw another concentric circle of dia thirty millimeter. Now go to straight line command, select the first point as the origin, and draw the line at an angle of forty-five degree. Give it any length. Now draw a horizontal line. Of any length, we're gonna assign dimension now. Under Create, go to Sketch Dimension. Select the origin and this end point, and give a vertical distance between them as sixty millimeter. Again, select these two points and give a horizontal distance of one fifty millimeter as follows. Now. Under modify go to fillet select this corner and give it a radius of 5 mm Now under modify go to offset select this line segments and offset it at a distance of 2.5 mm Right click and repeat offset Again select this line segment this time offset it in the opposite direction at a distance of minus 2.5 mm go to straight line command and draw a line from this point to this point double click on this line segment to select the whole line segments and make them construction Now go to center dia circle select the center anywhere here and give it a dia of 240 mm drag it up to this much now under constraint go to tangent select these two circles in order to make them tangent and this circle and this line so they will be tangent to each other now go to trim command and trim out these unnecessary portions of the circle as follows i just need this arc now i need to mirror this arc so under create go to mirror for the object select this arc and for the mirror line select this construction line Now I need to move these whole sketches with respect to the origin at an angle of 180 degree. So go to move set pivot point as the origin as follows. Click okay, turn on create copy option and rotate it at an angle of 180 degree. click okay finish sketch here is my sketch ready now go to extrude for the profile select this rectangular parts one by one as follows 
extrude it up to 37.5 mm, change the direction to symmetric and click OK. Now turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude. This time select this rectangular part. For selecting left click and hold and click on profile. This profile has been selected. Now change the start type to offset plane. Specify an offset distance of 22.5 mm and an extrude distance of 15 mm. Operation cut and click OK. Right click and repeat extrude. This time I am going to select this circular part. Change the start type to offset plane and specify an offset distance of 32.5 mm and an extrude distance of 5 mm. Change the operation to join and click OK. Go to extrude again. This time select these profiles. Start type offset plane. Offset distance 32.5 and distance 5 mm as the previous one. Operation join and click OK. Hide the visibility of sketch one. Press F to go to fillet command. Select these edges and fillet them up to a radius of 37.5 mm. Press enter. Press F and repeat fillet. Select these two edges and fillet them up to 7.5 mm. Now I'm gonna mirror this feature. So under create, go to mirror, type feature for the objects, select these previous three extrudes. This fillet. Mirror plane, this one, click OK. Now press F to go to fillet. Select these edges as follows and fillet them up to a radius of 1 mm. Now we will create some holes on this face. So select this face and create a new sketch on it. Go to center dial circle. Select the center as the geometric center of this arc as follows. Draw three concentric circles of diameter 15 mm, 25 mm and 36 mm. Here they are. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. View carefully. For the first extrude, we're gonna select these two circular portions and extrude them downward up to minus 35 mm. Change the operation to join and click OK. Here it is. Go to extrude command again. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch. Select this profile and drag it downward so that it will cut the whole portion. Operation cut, click OK. Again go to extrude. This time we are gonna select this portion. Specify a distance of minus 7.5 mm. Operation cut, press enter. Go to extrude again. 
select this profile change the start type to from object and select this face as the object extrude it upward up to 7.5 mm and here it is all the extrudes are complete now press F to go to fillet select this circular edge and give it a radius of 10 mm go to fillet again select this edge and give a radius of 2.5 mm fillet this edge up to 5 mm we need to increase the depth of this face so this one was the cut double click on it to edit and change the distance to minus 17.5 mm now it looks good create a new sketch on the front plane before drawing anything first we need to project this body on our current sketch so go to project selection filter specify identities select these portions as follows and click ok press p to go to project again selection filter bodies and select this body click ok now go to straight line command draw a straight line from this point to this edge as follows draw another vertical line from here to this edge finish sketch now go to extrude select these profiles extrude them up to a distance of 2.5 mm operation join and change the direction to symmetric click ok press F to go to fillet command select these edges and fillet them up to a distance of 2.5 mm now I have to do the same thing on the other side on this face but instead of doing the same thing I will pattern this feature on that surface so under create go to circular pattern type features and for the objects select these features as follows axis don't select these fillets for the axis you can select this green axis or this circular portion number of quantity 2 compute option adjust and click ok here it is now fillet them one by one as we did earlier with the same fillet radius now it's the time for this extrude so repeat circular pattern type feature object this extrude and for the axis again select this circle number of quantities to press enter here it is press F to go to fillet and fillet these two edges up to 2.5 millimeter here my design is ready it's time for color press A to go to appearance I'm going to apply this paint metallic blue color on it do little bit of adjustments here 
here it is thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you guys have any suggestions and recommendations feel free to comment see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye